Come in. Come in, Come in my child. We, we mustn't lurk in doorways. It's rude. One might question your upbringing. <laughs> Come on, darling, have a seat. Much better. I know that you are always Daddy's favorite little girl, but things are different now, precious. Now that I am queen and Daddy's corpse is feeding the fishes, there's no need for us to have as bad of a relationship as your father and I did. Oh. Hold still, Ariel. I think I may have wounded you from the few little shots from the Triton. Don't you want to get better? Or would you like to end up like your father as well? I'm just kidding, of course, darling. There's no reason for me to kill you now. I already will. <laughs> Let me help you to get better, and we can start to build on our relationship. I am, I of, am course, of course, your, your darling, darling auntie. auntie. What? Did you not know? That we were related, Ariel. <laughs> Let me tell you the story of how things came to be. Your father left me at sea while I had no idea who I was, or where I came from. Instead of sharing the kingdom with me as our mother and father wanted, it was to his advantage to allow me to think I was a peasant, a peasant child. child. And so I grew up on land, hiding my gifts from the world. Until one day I felt the sea calling me. I jumped in. I realized my powers. But unfortunately, my true self was revealed. Were the villagers kind and sweet? And did they acknowledge my differences and understand? And be grateful to have somebody special amongst them. Of course not. They tried, they tried to, kill to kill me, me and, instead and instead killed, killed my, my father, father, who was, was trying, trying to protect me. me. That's, That's how, how harsh my life started out. So I don't want to hear you crying anymore. You've had everything handed to you, Ariel. And the very fact that I clean your wounds and keep you in my kingdom after your father's inevitable demise is because I love you. <laughs> In my, In my own way, of course, course darling. darling. Come on now. Don't be so pathetic. Let me finish my story. Your father refused to allow me to be a part of the kingdom because he was afraid of my powers. <sighs> and so it left me wasted, wasted away, away to practically, to practically nothing, nothing. Banished, banished and practically, and practically starving. starving. 
while he and his merfolk lived a life of perfection. It's not, it's not right, right Ariel. Ariel. It was, it was never, never right. right. Your, Your darling, darling daddy, daddy never, never did, did right, right by me. me. And that's why eventually I had to take over. He was never going to share. And to be honest, he did it wrong anyway. Look at this. Add a bit of rhinestone and it looks so much better. Mm. <laughs> hold still, hold still now while I fix your tail. different about you child you look like a completely different person to what I remember you as years ago <laughs> did, I, did scare I scare you to, you the, to point the point that you that changed you color, color? <laughs> <laughs> oh darling don't be so pathetic Enjoy yourself once in a while. Don't get feisty with me. I'm trying to help you. I did consider putting you in a stew for the humans, but I think you're better off alive. I do have a heart, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to fix you. That's plenty hard to know. Besides, look at you. Your scales, Your scales are as dry, dry as the bones, the bones of the of dead, dead prince, prince that you so desperately, desperately wanted. wanted. And cannot, cannot have. have. It's not my fault he couldn't swim. <laughs> Oh, come on, darling. It's not like you really loved him. You barely knew the boy. For goodness sake, he found out you were a mermaid, jumped in the water, and tried to kill me with a ship. Of course he was going to die. There was not really much other option. Was there? I'm making things easy for you, Ariel. I could very, very easily take away all the things that you hold dear. Yes, King Triton is dead. <laughs> but your sisters are still here. And we have to ensure that they stay here. Don't you want that? I know you yeah. do. So, so why don't, don't you, you cooperate? cooperate. <laughs> Let me get some medicine to help. So suspicious of me, Ariel. The only reason I turned away from the kingdom was so that I could fulfill my purpose. So that I could get what I deserved.
Besides, you know what it feels like. Not to be acknowledged. Not to be helped. Not even to be remembered by the people that you once cared for. Or that should have cared for you. My point is, dear child, I had to do what was best in the circumstances. Now that your tail is looking a little bit better, darling, won't you reconsider a relationship with your dear old auntie? As I said before, you don't want to end up like daddy. You want to make sure that you are dealing with life properly that you are picking the right people to associate with. <laughs> Let's put some of that green back on your table. What's that, darling? You still hate me. <laughs> oh, oh sweetheart. sweetheart. You have no idea what hatred is. I never wanted any of this. I have been good for a very long time. I'll admit that in the past I was a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me. Well, you know. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented sin, and made a switch. True? Yes. With the exception of your daddy, of course. <laughs> Fortunately, no little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. Now, lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic. Poor unfortunate souls in pain. In need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Poor unfortunate souls. It's sad, but true. They come flocking to my doorway, crying spells, Ursula, please. And I help them. Yes, I do. Now. It's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid, and I'm afraid I had to break them across, across the coals. The coals. Or kill them with their own triton. <laughs> okay, I've had the odd complaint. But on the whole, I've been a saint. To those poor unfortunate souls. I know you feel like a poor unfortunate.
unfortunate soul right now. But in the long run, my dear, you will realize that you have been spared for a reason. Spared with genius in mind. Spared so that you become something better. Did you really want to spend your entire life being somebody's puppet on the land where they eat all the family that you once knew? I don't think so, somehow. <laughs> you can stay here. Marry a merman. And eventually, Maybe we can work together. No, oh. no, oh, darling. Are you crying because you miss your family? <laughs> Stop it. If you're really that distressed, I can always send you back to dry land eventually. And you can find new ways to meet people and get the peasants on land to recognize me as their new ruler with more compassion, you know. I don't want to keep killing the soldiers of kings and queens all over the world just to prove my seniority. Pretty face like yours can help things to go over better. Darling, your face is the only reason I would send you ashore now. When you're as beautiful as we are, you have to know how to use it. <laughs> Who knows? You might end up going up there, working for me, and finding yourself a prince that does actually love you. Or just any normal peasant. Anyone will do for you, really. <laughs> Now that you're going to be working for me, we can take on just about anyone and make them better than they started. Don't you think, darling? You have everything you need in order to get you a nice man. I mean, some of your tail is missing, but I can give you legs again to do the job. Of course, I'm your auntie. I can help you. Of course, I'll have to take your voice back whenever it is you do go up there. I can't have you representing me and spilling secrets and making people fall in love with you with your darling voice. That's not what we need, is it? Oh, Ariel. Are we going to pretend that you didn't almost get Prince Eric to kiss you? Hmm? While you were up there the first time? Hmm? Tram? Hmm? Be honest, dear. You know how to communicate without your voice. You don't need it. <laughs> Besides, the men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on a land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on. They're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they dote and swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn 
and she who holds her tongue will get a man. <laughs> Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. Your life doesn't cost much, just your voice. <laughs> Poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross the bridge, my dear, you've got to pay the toll. Take a go and take a breath and go ahead and sign the scroll. She thinks that I really care about her boys. <laughs> the boss is on a roll. You poor unfortunate so <laughs> can I really get any more gorgeous, any more diabolical? Oh, you're still here. Go on now, darling, go on. 